welcome back to another video on the channel, and today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to make a rock blaster on Scratch. We'll be learning the following concepts on Scratch. Pick random, variables, if then condition, create clone, y position of rocket ship, and some other operators. Let's begin. We'll start off with a quick demo. When flat clicked, you could move, you could move using the up and down arrow key, and hit the space key to shoot lasers. Every time the laser hits the rock, your score increases by one. Every time the rock hits the la the rock hits the rocket ship, then it's game over and this game over sprites just pop out. So without much further ado, let's begin with the project. I'll first go to a blank project and rename it to Rocket Rock Blaster. And then I'm going to delete the cap sprite and choose four sprites. First, I'll choose the rocket ship. Then I'll choose the rocks. Then I'm going to choose the button. And then I'm going to paint my own sprite. Using the text tool, we'll type game over. Change the font color to red. And then we're going to change the font to pixel to make it look more gamish. Align it to the center. Next, go ahead and choose a backdrop. We're going to choose the star backdrop. Now that we're done by choosing our sprites, Let's begin coding. We'll begin by first starting to code the laser. Rename each sprite to laser or rename it to rocks or rocket ship if they're not renamed. For the sprites such as button, rename it to laser and for the sprite we painted, rename it to game over. We'll begin by first coding the laser. So when flat clicked, we want to set the size to 10. The laser is very minute, so we don't want it to be so large like this one. Otherwise, it's evidently going to look like a button. Next, we want to hide the laser. Next, we'll get a when space key pressed. We want to create a clone of myself. Next, when I start as a clone, we want to go to X and Y. First, we want to go to X, negative 160, and Y, Y position of the rocket ship. So we'll go to the Y position of the rocket ship. We'll find that block on the sensing. So drag the backdrop of stage and st change stage to rocket ship and change X position to Y position. Make sure you first change the sprite from stage to rocket ship first and then change it from X position to Y position. Next, go to looks and drag show and repeat until. Repeat until touching edge. Now we're going to put something in the loop, which is move 10 steps. Next, we'll delete that particular clone that hits the edge. Now let's code the rocket ship. When flat clicked, we're going to create a new variable called score. Click on make a variable and rename that variable to score. We want to set score to zero. Next, we're going to set the size to 50%. Go to X and Y now. So we want X to be negative 178 and y to be 5. Now we want to drag a repeat until loop. Repeat until touching rocks. If, we're going to get an if then condition. If key up arrow pressed, we want to change y by 10. Duplicate that. If key down arrow pressed, change X 
I ten. Perfect. Remove X and drag it change Y and then change 10 to negative 10. Okay, that's good. Now let's code the rocks. When flag clicked, we want to show. Next, we want it to set size to 50%. Repeat five times, create clone of myself. When I start as a clone, we want to go to X and Y. For X, we want to go to 240, and for Y, we want to pick random. Pick random from negative 150 to 150. Next, we're going to make an e-variable called speed. Set speed to pick random negative 2 to negative 6. Then we want to get a repeat until loop and repeat until touching rocket ship. Change X by speed. Next, we're going to get an if then condition. If, go to operators and drag a less than sign. If X position is a less than negative 220, then we want to go to X and Y. So we want x to be 240 and y to be pick random. We're just going to duplicate that. Pick random negative 150 to fit 150. Duplicate the if then condition, but keep it inside the repeat until loop. Change the greater than sign to touching mouse pointer and change mouse pointer to laser. Next, we're going to drag a change score by one. And right below to go, go to X and Y, we want it to start a new sound. Go to sounds and click on choose a sound. And then choose the sound magic spell. We want to start sound magic spell and then put it inside the repeat until touching rocket ship loop. Then we want to broadcast a new message. Make sure that this is not inside the loop. Broadcast the message game over. Note that we don't want this to be inside the if then loop or the repeat until touching rocket ship loop. Now we're going to go to rocks and when I receive Game over, we want to stop other scripts in Sprite. Go to Rocket Ship and now drag a when I receive game over. We want to stop other scripts in Sprite. Now go to Laser. When I receive game over, stop other scripts in Sprite. Okay, now let's go ahead and start coding game over. When flag clicked, hide, and then we want to go to front layer. Next, when I receive game over, show and play sound. We're going to go to sounds and choose a new sound called lose. Play sound lose until done and then stop all. Let's check it out now.
another thing that we forgot to do is first go to the rocket ship, then drag a point in direction. Just gonna point in direction. 180. Okay, let's check it out. So that and hide that rock. Okay. In case you guys have noticed, there is one rock which is not moving at all. So how do we make that one move? So what we have to do to make it move is first, we don't want it to move, we want it to hide, okay? So we don't want it to move, we just want it to hide. So now let's check it out. As you can see, it's gone. So all we did was we have to hide it. Now as you can see, it is working. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, leave us a like, and share our videos to others. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye and scratch off.